what's up guys how's everyone doing today I'm doing well thank you for asking welcome to my new segment this is going to be called <clears throat> the everyday kitchen that's the everyday microwave this is the everyday kitchen <clears throat> as you can tell I have an everyday normal kitchen a lot of these cooking channels you watch or a lot of people that just put up a video from time to time on cooking they have these immaculate beautiful wonderful uh, kitchens that frankly you only see on HGTV I've never had one I've never had a beautiful kitchen I've always had the everyday kitchen all right ugly wallpaper old appliances, small, claustrophobic, normal, average, everyday kitchen. So there you go. The everyday kitchen. How y'all doing today? <clears throat> today, guys, we are going to make some... Whew, let me put them back in there for a minute. I'll show you what that is in a minute. We're going to make some homemade soup. I don't always use like frozen vegetables and fresh produce and all that. I use good old fashioned cans. Why? Well, they got food in them. And it's easy. This is going to be pretty much a bare minimum kind of a soup. It's not going to have everything that I would want in there because I don't have everything with me right now. But whenever I make my soups, sometimes I don't have everything, so I just start grabbing and stuff. But luckily I have some of the main basics. I just don't have, uh, I don't have celery, I don't have any onions, uh, I don't have any kind of a, a pinto bean or a lima bean or a butter bean or a, something like that. I don't have those. And I like having those. But... We got carrots. We got potatoes. I've also got two real potatoes. We have green beans. Normally I'd get more of your, uh, your basic, uh, just normal cut green beans. But this is what was in the cabinet. So that's what I'm using. We got corn. Gotta have a corn. And we got some diced tomatoes. Gotta have tomatoes in it. And uh, a main ingredient that we're going to do here for our meats is. Forgive me while I get in my meat right here. We have a summer ground of beef. Now, this ground beef was frozen. And some people will take all day long to unthaw their ground beef when they're just going to chop it up and put it in something. When you're going to just chop up your ground beef, you're going to put it in spaghetti, you're going to put it in chili, you're going to put it in soup, you're going to make taco meat out of it. You can put it in the microwave. Don't put it on defrost, just put it on normal cook. Beep, 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 three, four, five minutes, however long it takes, and it comes out nice and halfway dang cooked. It don't matter. If you're going to put it in a pan or you're going to put it in a pot, it's going to cook anyway. And you're just crushing it up. Hey. Hey. Wait, I think I've seen a. Might need to cut that out. FTC might come get me on that. Sorry. I'm feeling a little frisky. Took a good nap. I'm feeling pretty good. Taco Tuesday, you know. Taco Tuesday. It's not going to be Taco Tuesday. It's going to be Soup Tuesday. Alright. 
So I'm going to open up some of these cans and then we're going to get to making this soup. All right, got the ground beef going in. You might have you might have only seen me put one of those halves in there. That's because I did only put one of those halves. I'm gonna take the other half and I'm gonna put it in my skillet and I'm gonna cook that up and get it prepared for another meal. Something I like to call macaroni and cheese with hamburger in it. <clears throat> I'm not going to film that. We're not going to film all that. But, uh, that, that was a lot of beef. Uh, a lot of ground beef. And it's just going to be a small pot of soup there. So I don't want to overdo it. And plus that will give me uh, two or three different uh, meals. Because this soup will last me, you know, a day and a half. Uh, and then... I'll get that macaroni and cheese with the meat in it, and then with that, I'll make like a vegetable and maybe a potato or something like that. And that'll be another meal. So that's a good way to get multiple meals there out of one of those logs of ground beef. Now, one thing that I don't always have, and really 99% of the time I don't have, is some sort of a broth or a stock to put into my soups. I normally just use water, uh, any juices that might be in the cans, any juices that might form over the cooking and, and the preparation in that. Uh, sometimes I'll add ketchup if I don't have enough maybe tomatoes or I don't have this or that you know uh, I don't always have some sort of a stock or broth however today I did look in the cabinet and I found some of these beef flavored bouillon cubes I got four of them So I'm going to unwrap those, put them in a little bit of water, let them start dissolving. I'll dump them in there. They won't make a huge difference or anything, believe me. I've, I've used them before. But uh, I'll go ahead and do that, and we'll continue making this soup. Very simple, very easy. Let's do this. Alright, we're just going to add these beef bouillon cubes. One minute on those. Alright guys, we are ready to add all of the ingredients, except one. I'm going to cut these up, cut these little potatoes up, stick them in the microwave for about three minutes. That'll make them 
they'll fully cook in there and then I'll put them in there as well a uh, little trick there if you didn't know you can make a baked potato in the microwave in about three minutes just in case you didn't know Hey, we're putting those potatoes in there. Mm, probably about three minutes. All right, things are moving along very well. Here on the Everyday Kitchen. The Everyday Kitchen is kitcheny for you. Whew. Okay, let's check on our soup. good thing about this is let me look at my watch I did this before I'm going to do my second bus route today this afternoon uh, and at 2 o'clock I'll leave so right now it is right at 1 30 so I got this done I'm gonna put it in the fridge and then whenever I get home from my route I'm going to go for a bike ride and then when I get home, I got some soup to look forward to. Not only that, but I think I'm going to make me a couple of grilled cheese sandwiches to go along with it. And that's that guys. We'll do a taste test whenever all that happens. I'll do a little taste test. Even though I know what it's going to taste like, I've had my soup for the past 30 years. So, but anyways guys, until the taste test later this afternoon, you just hold your little britches up. We'll be back. Many hours later. Alright guys, the moment is here. We get to try some soup. Did my afternoon bus route, got home, jumped on the bike, went for a good bike ride, got in just over 12 miles. Good little ride. We got some soup here. I know you probably can't see it real well, but it looks pretty good. I'm pretty sure I know it's going to taste decent. Now, I am going to say this. I cannot make it a good vegetable soup to my liking uh, other people seem to enjoy it uh, the only vegetable soups that I have ever ate that I thought were amazing uh, is at a local restaurant we have here in town a family owned restaurant uh, called Tom's Pizza and Steakhouse and they have the absolute best vegetable soup and it's just vegetable soup this has uh, ground beef in it they have the absolute best and I absolutely fantasize about eating their soup. Love it. And another good soup I found, oddly enough, was at uh, Steak and Shake. My wife works there. She's a manager. And they have some vegetable soup there. Now they don't have it anymore. They quit selling it for whatever stupid reason. 
but it was really good and it had a lot of different little herbs and spices and stuff in it which made it stand out it was a real it was more of a light uh, there wasn't a whole lot in it but there was enough in it that made it really good and tasty it was a really good soup other than that man it's hard to find a good soup and I'm not gonna find a good canned vegetable soup I've tried all of them and it's just hard to find uh, so my vegetable soups are to be taken with a grain of salt if that's saying it correctly uh, they're okay they're decent but they'll never be as good as what I want so having said that we're gonna go and try and take a bite even though it's steaming hot I set it on the stove and got that pot boiling up real good when I got home and I made grilled cheese sandwiches got provolone on there and americano hmm I'm scared to take a bite it's awful hot but we'll take a bite and see how it goes good stuff guys it's pretty good now even bad vegetable beef soup or chicken soup any, any soup any bad soup is still gonna get ate by me I am a soup connoisseur I love soup and I have made a full pot of soup and pretty much ate the entire pot in one day I stuffed myself I'm not gonna lie I mean I make myself sick off of it and I eat big bowls like Tupperware type bowls uh, I just I absolutely love soup I love chili uh, chili is another one that I'll do a video on and I can make some good chili but the only chili I truly love is Wendy's chili and it's the only chili I've ever ate that doesn't give me heartburn I'll tell you this much this tastes pretty good after being out there in that cold wind on that bike ride and that's what I was looking forward to I knew it would be a good idea and the extra potatoes that threw in there the real potatoes that you see me cut up and all that good stuff they're done It's pretty good. It's my normal vegetable beef soup. Normal. As you can tell, I like my toast nice and brown. I've had it way worse than that. Sorry you had to see that. Well guys, thanks for watching my video. Go ahead and try and make you some vegetable beef soup or vegetable soup. Leave some comments down below. Let me know your secret recipes and what you think uh, some places might add to give that soup that special Italian seasoning. That's what it is. It's good too. Remember, this is my new segment, the Everyday Kitchen. But I think I got something here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Don't forget, get up, get out, get rad. Do it to it, even when eating some homemade vegetable, the beef soup. Mm, that's so good. We'll see y'all later. I'm going to eat.